Hello everyone, welcome back to Try to Cat Maria Vlogs. I'm back with another video, and today's topic is a really important one. Keeping the faith in college. I've learned a lot in my first year of university, and I like to share what I learned with you. I have my notes here with me, and scripture references, of course. So let's get started. Um, first, if you hear a scratching in the background, that's my cat on the window she's an odd one but oh well okay so <laughs> let's actually get started first point that i want to make make time for prayer and bible reading go to confession frequently and go to mass on sundays and holy days of obligation and if you can go to daily mass and this is so important because prayer is our armor and we need to be on our guard because college is a battlefield and we really need to be prepared. So I want to share these verses with you. First, I'm going to be reading Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 through 9. One of my favorite passages. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt tell them to thy children. And thou shalt meditate upon them sitting in thy house. And walking on thy journey, sleeping and rising. And thou shalt tell them to thy children, and thou shalt meditate upon them sitting in thy house, and walking on thy journey, sleeping and rising. And thou shalt bind them as a sign on thy hand, and they shall be, and shall move between thy eyes. And thou shalt write them in the entry, and on the doors of thy house. This is really important. So, we need to always be praying. And we need to really get in our Bible every day. As difficult as it is, try to read maybe a passage a day and pray in the morning, throughout the day, and in the evening. And definitely pray the rosary every day. And this is my general life advice, whether you're in college or not. Pray the rosary every day. It's really important. Another thing that we should be doing is taking in truth. So listen to good traditional sermons. I have a playlist on my channel that I will link below. I like to listen to that playlist while I'm doing my makeup in the morning so I can start the day with good and holy things. And also listen to good Christian music because there's a lot of bad music going around on college campuses. So it's important to take in good music that will direct your mind to the Lord. And I have another passage for you. I have a little key. It's, it's nice. Um, another passage for you. Since college is a battlefield, we also need to keep in mind that... We're not battling against flesh and blood. So let's go to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 13. Finally, brethren, be strengthened in the Lord and in the might of his power. Put you on the armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the deceits of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the world of this darkness against the spirits of wickedness in the high places. Therefore, take unto you the armor of God, that you may be able to resist the evil day, and to stand in all things perfect. It's easy to get caught up in all these things that are going on on campus. Like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. But remember, we're not battling against flesh and blood. So pray, because when we're facing a spiritual battle, we need spiritual armor. The next point that I want to make is avoiding worldly influences and making a group of solid Catholic friends. There are a lot of worldly influences on college campuses. We need to be aware of that and we need to root them out because worldly influences can be sources of temptation. So keep this in mind because sometimes we might have some friends who maybe listen to bad music and we're you know hanging out and there's bad music playing or we're, at a, we're in some kind of social situation. Or let's say we get invited to a party that we know is not going to be a good situation to be in. So try to root out these influences and stick with Catholic friends who are really solid in their faith. If we have too many worldly friends, we might end up in situations that are very difficult for us. You know, whether it's bad music playing or invited to this party that we know is not going to be a good place for us. And it's 
easy to want to go along with what other people are doing, you know, peer pressure and things like that. But we need to know that everything we do should reflect Christ. And if we're letting in all these worldly things, it's difficult to honor God in everything that we do because we're listening to worldly things or being surrounded by worldly things. So keep that in mind. Surround yourself with good, holy things and resist um, worldly influences. I have a verse for you. Just checking my notes again to make sure I'm on track. Romans 12, 2. It's really important. One of my favorite verses, and it definitely applies to this video. And be not conformed to this world, but be reformed in the newness of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and the acceptable and the perfect will of God. So remember, don't go along with worldly influences just because or because we don't want to stand out or look weird or anything. Because what we do for Christ is what truly matters in the end. So as difficult as it is, resist worldly influences and honor God with everything that you do. So my next point, be open and evangelize. Take advantage of every opportunity. This is a really fun one because there are little things, you know, throughout our day that we can use as opportunities to tell people about Jesus and about the Catholic faith. One time I was leaving my dorm one evening and I saw one of my friends and he was like, oh, hey, where are you going? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to the rosary group. He's like, what's the rosary? So I was able to talk to him about the rosary and invite him to our rosary group and that went really well. And also, um, I have a holy water font in my dorm and I am bringing it back with me when I move in in the fall because it's a really important thing to have in your dorm and people will ask about it they're like oh what's this and I, I tell them about holy water and it's just a great thing there's so many little things that you can do to evangelize and also um wearing medals and things like that people will look at your your necklace or your bracelet and they'll, they'll ask about it and that's my next point, decorate your dorm with Catholic art. So pictures of saints, statues, things like that, because they're great conversation starters, and they're also good for you to always, you know, look at holy images and remember the faith. And another point, being in a Catholic school makes things easier in some ways, but also presents different challenges, so you need to be prepared. Don't take advantage of the fact that you're at a Catholic school because it's not going to be easy. So don't assume it's going to be easy. Because a lot of Catholic schools these days are not um, being faithful to their Catholic identity. On the plus side though, um, this is an opportunity to reach out to someone who was raised Catholic but isn't really practicing anymore. But still you need to be ready. Because, you know, as a Catholic who wants to listen to the church, you are going to be attacked by people. And you might get into situations where someone says, oh, so-and-so is Catholic and they support this or they do this. You know, why don't you do these things? So you need to know the faith and, you know, defend the faith. So answer the questions that people may have. But remember, that's not going to be easy. But you should also take advantage of the resources that are available on campus. So like daily mass, um, Catholic organizations, and things like that. And my last point, remember that it is a blessing to suffer for Christ. No matter what happens, God is with you. And you should be doing what you're doing for him and for his glory. And I want to share with you another one of my favorite passages. This really helped me during my time in college when things got difficult. Because things will get difficult. But keep this in mind. 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 13 through 17 and then chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. 
And who is he that can hurt you if you be zealous of good? But if also ye suffer anything for justice sake, blessed are ye. And be not afraid of their fear, and be not troubled. But sanctify the Lord Christ in your hearts, being ready always to satisfy everyone that asketh you a reason of the hope that which is in you. But with modesty and fear, having a good conscience, that whereas they speak evil of you, they may be ashamed who falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better doing well, if such be the will of God, to suffer than doing ill. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, he shall be blessed. For that which is of the honor, glory, and power of God, and that which is his spirit, resteth upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or a thief, or a railer, or a coveter of other men's things. Then if as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. I also want to remind you that I have a video specifically on taking a stand for Christ that I will link below. But there are so many things that people could attack you for, and if there's anything they should be after you for, it's should be for taking a stand for Christ because what we do for Christ is what will truly matter in the end. I mean we really should be studying and keeping up with our schoolwork and things like that but in the end our GPA and things like that are not going to matter. What's going to matter is how we lived our Catholic faith. So let's review some of these points. Going back to my notes again. <laughs> Make time for prayer and Bible reading. Go to Mass on Sundays and Holy Days. Confession frequently and daily Mass if possible. Avoid worldly influences and make Catholic friends. Be open and evangelize. Take advantage of every opportunity to tell people about Jesus. Decorate your dorm with Catholic art. And know that being at a Catholic school might make some things easier, but also present different challenges. And it is a blessing to suffer for Christ. And I will write the scripture references in the description box below. But remember that no matter what, God is with you. And keep the faith because in the end, how you live your faith is what will truly matter. So let's close with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this day and for your many blessings and graces. And thank you for helping us get through school and for leading us to university because it's such a blessing to be able to study at a university. Help us to be strong in our faith and to defend the faith when we are questioned, challenged, and attacked. And help us to remember that you are always with us and no matter what, as difficult as things are, you're on our side. And that helps to remember that it is a blessing to suffer for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope that it blesses you. And if you have any questions, let me know. My inbox on Tumblr is currently open, and you can always leave a comment below. Thank you so much, and God bless.